I'm Becky Lighty, and this is Cheney, and this is Daryl, my husband. I'm Jeffrey Lawrence. I'm Miranda Lawrence, and our son Taft, who is about five and a half, has autism. I'm Philip Mesa. And I'm Julie Mesa. Addie was born with muscular dystrophy and has been unable to walk or stand since birth. Before we had a child with special needs, it, it was something that we never imagined having or, you know, having a child with special needs in the first place. And then we also never had thought about the challenges that that would pose for church. In the early years, I would say we would not have probably even come to Memorial Road. It was that big of a difference for us. There were many times that we couldn't even get Taft to get out of the car, and so we ended up just, um, you know, feeling like sometimes we had to stay home or that uh, church just wasn't, um, you know, going to work for him. We had some kids in our program that needed a little bit more assistance in the classroom, so we thought putting adults with that child just for them to be their friend that would assist with them in the classroom would help them be able to reach their full potential during that hour of class time. The week after I'd prayed, like, Lord, just help me connect back in church, um, I ran into Cindy Hoover and she said that she had a friend that needed a buddy. And so I said, sure. Um, I took him to VBS. And so now I am Taft's buddy and Corbin's buddy in the pre-K class, and I just get to help him go to bio class. We um, were a recipient of that um, because Cheney couldn't go to class, or we didn't feel comfortable letting him go to class without one of us. So we had some awesome people who mm. stepped up and went to class with him. And so now we've been providing a buddy for several kids for several years, and it's been a great thing. I especially like developing a relationship with an individual child, and then I also like seeing them become more independent in the classroom. I wasn't looking to do this initially. It just kind of evolved and happened uh, just because there was a need. By the end of a quarter, Taft was asking to go to Bible class. We felt a lot more comfortable as a family because we could go and not worry as much. I'm a, you know, in the young adult, I wanted to find where I fit in in this church and what I can do to help. And so with my passion being kids, that's what I did. I started in the preschool and then I asked Jill, where else can I be involved? And it really helped this church really feel like my church home just by becoming a buddy. For one thing, it just is wonderful for the parents to have a break and to be able to attend Bible classes. Um, I know having a special needs child can be very demanding and difficult at times, as precious as they are. It's just neat watching a generation older than even us relate to someone at Cheney's age, and I think part of that buddy system is, is allowed. You know, like a lot of the things that Cheney does, a lot of kids with special needs, I guess, they start a pattern, and once you're a part of it, you know, they choose to do that. Being a buddy is, is not difficult. It's just showing up in being there for that child. I was new to the church, so this was kind of my first area of serving, and um, with Chaney, it's like I said, he's a joy. My name is Jarrett Boswell, and I met Addie one day when she was in class with me. I just help her and do stuff with her and sit by her and just became friends. It makes me feel welcome, included, you know, part of a family that allows us to um, enjoy our class. The people along the way and the high five from Jerry Way every single Sunday. The little wave from Andrew Panter who's always doing communion. That is church to her. You just have to show up and love on them and you don't have to prepare a lesson. You don't have to um, get any supplies. You just have to be there for them. Well, we talk a lot about inclusiveness in the church and trying to include people of different ages or different races or different cultures. But I think the special need community gets left out of that inclusiveness, not purposely, but just overlooked. We're there to help you. We're there to help you learn the right language to use with them. There are so many resources here to help you with that, that we can make it happen. I would say pray about it and give it a try because I think the most unexpected friendships and the most unexpected relationships can be built from this ministry. It's part of the gospel. It's a big part of the gospel. It was obviously important to God. It was important enough to send His Son to show us that everyone mattered. It's not just a select few. It's part of the beauty of church. It takes all different parts of the body for us to really move and continue building this kingdom.